What's going on, everybody? Bobby Five with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We are going to talk about a little bit of NBA right now. Um, been a rough stretch for NBA for most people, it feels like. Um, certainly, for I, you know, I, I sure hope so. Yeah, it de definitely has been for me. Um, it's been a rough go of it. So we're going to get into it and find out if we can uh, if we can make some sense of this little slate here. Obviously, a lot of things are subject to change. We're doing this early in the day. And uh, yeah, Sheets, any... Uh, yeah, you know, that was one of the things, by the way, that when I was first starting out, was, I actually took a lot of solace in that. I still sort of do. Like when I would go through my process and make my plays and whatever it is, and and just, I would get, I just wouldn't cash for anything or just like just all my lines were like really bad. When I would go the next day, I would see like experts and like, and would say, oh my God, I got crushed. It was actually, it's good. It was good to see that that when I went, that at least I was doing things in the same way that like people who know what they're doing were doing them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I was like, in, if I had every day, like all the people that I followed or whatever saying, Oh, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm like, what the hell? You know, at least, at least, at least, at least I could, I, I have take the solace in, 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 in knowing that people that know what they're doing are, are struggling also. Cause maybe, maybe it is just, you know, just a lot of variants going the wrong way against a lot of people. So that's uh. Yeah, fair enough. Um, hey, hashtag there's always hockey. <laughs> All right. You ready for today? Yeah, let's get into it. Um, all right. Yeah, you got to get a little closer to the mic, I think. Yeah. That, so, okay. So, why don't you pull up your screen? Oh. And uh, we'll go game by game here. Um, wait, where do I? Oh, wait a second. Uh, wait, there, uh, right. Okay. All right. So, First game, um, Dallas and Detroit here. I I don't know. Um, you got everybody questionable for Dallas. Still does matter for them to win games. Likely, I would imagine that that we get Luca back, Luca to play. Um, maybe if there were time to sit him, this would be the one. But it's really hard to speculate until we know who's playing with the Dallas side of things. If, if Luca plays, of course, I have some interest in Luca, especially if KP's out, but I don't know what I'm going to do until we get Richardson, Porzingis, Smith, Luca, Kleber, and Redick, uh, actual information because it's been, it's, it's gone all over the place lately. What did you think of um, them starting Burke over um, Hardaway in the last game? Yeah, I mean, interesting, but it's it doesn't uh, it won't matter if uh, the other guys are back. So I, I really don't know. Burke may may play zero minutes tonight. He may play a bunch. If these guys are out, I would definitely consider playing Burke. Um, yeah. You know, although 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 it didn't exactly work out for me yesterday, I, I still like the um, I still like my idea of especially as we're getting down the stretch here in the NBA regular season. To really try to focus on those on the on the good game environments, meaning the ones where everybody's trying and, and they're going to be playing all their players and close spreads and all that stuff. Like I identify, you know, the Memphis Portland game didn't exactly work out the way I thought it was going to, but the other one that you had mentioned that I just kind of like kind of went well oh, or whatever on, and ended up with like a really really good play, which you mentioned that which I guess you didn't play that much of was was Lonzo last night. I mean, like um, Lonzo smashed the crap out of the slate last night, and that was another game you had mentioned that. That that's a probably a good environment game too, um, so I, a lot of I want to try to avoid games like this one if possible. Um, um, with that said, uh, you know Lucas certainly what did he get sixty fantasy points in three quarters the other day in that yeah. ridiculous game. Yeah, he's certainly a spend that I would consider. Um, I but I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna focus more on that Golden State game later. You know, so so I think I'd rather take studs from games like that. Than 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 Luke in a game like this. Uh, that's just that's just where I'm at. And same thing with 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 Porzingis. Um, if he plays and uh, you know on Fanduel as well, or whatever. Probably going to avoid the Dallas side. The, the problem with the Detroit side, the value, the two pieces of value are just kind of tough to ignore. The Killian Hayes at point guard and yeah. Isaiah Stewart on um, specifically at Fanduel. Um, so those the, I'm probably just going to have to play those guys. Um, probably Killian Hayes on. At, on DraftKings and Isaiah Stewart on FanDuel. Aside from that, I, I don't, I don't want to spend too much of my brain power trying to figure out, okay, so who's Detroit's got to play really well to keep it close, and then I could play Luka on top with all these Detroit guys. I, I just assume pass, if you want to know the truth. That, that, that's where I'm at on this game, at, at least at this point. Yeah, I, I think that everybody, like, the whole Detroit side is going to have some appealing part of it, though. Like, I mean, 
Killian Hayes is the obvious one. Uh, Diallo, I think, has the upside to have a good game here. Uh, Sadiq Bey, um, Isaiah Stewart, I probably would rank him in that order mm -hmm. um, on DraftKings. But I don't mind uh, maybe getting a little bit more love for Stewart. I think that he'll have a big game. In, uh, he should have a decent game here. But it's I don't know we need – I don't know. It's like I, I probably will end up playing two, two Detroit guys, maybe three if I run it back with like Luca, depending on what happens with Dallas, if Dallas does have everybody out, that's going to be hard not to stack that game. <laughs> the other guy that I wrote in uh, as possible value on the slate was Frank Jackson. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Frank Jackson's the other one. Um, and Josh Jackson even actually too, it was not necessarily value, but as a play, all those guys are on the board for me, but right now it's mostly going to be Hayes and, one of Bay or Diallo, probably. Um, potentially Frank Jackson, but I, I think he's probably one of the other two. Okay. All right. Uh, you want to move? Yeah, there is one thing I know I'm doing for sure tonight in the next game. Play, play Mr. Durant? Yeah, I'm just going to play Kevin Durant. Um, it's 8,500. They're getting, he should be playing his pretty normal minutes. Um, even if he doesn't, even if he takes only seven shots like he did in the last game, he still put up 45. Um, I just feel like he's too good of a play. It's a great matchup. Um, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'd be shocked if he's not like one of the highest owned, if not like the highest owned player on the slate, but I still very much like him. Uh, other than that, you have an interesting, like, okay, you could take a shot on Kyrie sort of spot. And then Landry Sham, that is the potential value that I see here. But how about you? Yeah, I'm not doing Landry Shaman. And I, I see it. I see it. I see it popping on all the, on all the value ratings and all the time. I pass. Um, the, 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 the news you have to watch for um, is Goga again on the Indiana side. Um, he's you know, made people wait a you know, pretty, pretty long time uh, before ruling him out the last couple of games. If he plays, he is a very, very strong value at 4K. Um, and I like Brogdon a lot here. Um, I like him. I, I think it's a very, very easy Durant um, Brogdon pairing, um, which again is, I don't think is going to be particularly earth shattering to people. But I, I may I'm all, I'm hoping that the nine K just kind of like like, like kind of like draws people off. Um, but I'm I'll, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna play Brogdon with um, with Duran. And obviously, if Goga is in, um, I can beef that up a little bit by um, by adding uh, by adding Goga to that. Um, and uh, that that's my interest in the game. I think Irving's kind of more only a, Kyrie's only a secondary piece. Uh, I have this, I, I, is this one of those things though, where, where, where we're not, where Kyrie goes off at 6% ownership on a, on a small slate? It, it's, it's very possible. I actually think that's, that's, that's why he's interesting. Yeah. And, and by the way, I think you can play him and KD together hmm. for what it's worth on this slate for sure. Just because this is the, this game has, you know, a massive total and they're at a, re, a reasonable enough prices where if they combine for, for a hundred, you're fine. And if they combine for 110, you're in great shape. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Indiana has been, been, been putting up some fast paces in their games. Oh yeah. Um, they just don't do anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this, this game could, could go nuts. Um, and if it goes nuts, I mean, I, I know where the production is, production is coming from. I really do. I know Brogdon is going to be part of it. Ooh, or what, or, or is this a Levert spot? Uh, I think it's a Brissett. Well, I don't. I'm not looking oh, at right. guys really. I, I'm, I'm not playing Brogdon. I'm not playing. Brogdon. Okay. Um, I will. I play. like Brissett if if, if Goga's out. Um, I like Brissett anyway. Okay. You just you just put up like 37 with him in the, with him playing, but they did get blown out. But he did. I mean, he did start. Um, it, it depends on Jeremy Lamb and him too. I mean, if both of them are out, it does open up a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I, I and and I'm probably avoiding some of the Sumnerness. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think it's mostly going to be Brissett for me on this side. If Goga's in, I think he's fine too. Um, but what, I about, what about what about Samson again? Oh, I mean, if everybody's out, maybe he'll have to show up. But like, he shows exactly why he's the price that he is in the last yeah. couple games, and they've had everybody out, so. Yeah, I, on the board, but not a guy who I'm overly uh, prioritizing, especially if Lamb and, and Goga are playing. I don't really see how he gets too much run, um, personally. Waiting for Amita Brima season. 
what about uh let's get over to milwaukee and houston yeah um so uh yeah i i, I regard this as similar to the dallas game i mean Giannis certainly rates as a good spend, but I, I I just don't know if I could, I don't know if I want to do that as opposed to Curry and, and, and Cat. You know what I mean? Like in a, in a competitive game. Um, uh, with no wall, I, I think that the Houston's in a lot, it could be a lot of trouble in this game. Um, and with that said, I mean, Giannis does rate to be a really good play. And uh, hey, you know what? I, I know what to do if I feel like stacking. Like, uh, I'll play Kevin Porter Jr. I'll play Christian Wood right on Houston and, and hope it stays close. And, and, and maybe, maybe that's not a bad idea. Like Porter jr. I, I presume on FanDuel is still going to be chalk and still gonna, still cheap and chalk. And we'll look at that in a minute, but yeah, sure. You want to play wood and, and him, the other guy who's back, I think, I don't know what is, I didn't look at him on draft Kings. He's an okay price on FanDuel was Daniel house. Mm-hmm. Only 4,200. Um, I mean, like if he's actually back and he's going to play more, I think I think he would rate to play more than 21, 20 minutes. I mean, he used to at least. I don't know, maybe not. So I don't know. I, I think Giannis is fine. I I just again would just I think I'd just rather just play the guarantee, not guarantee, but play the competitive game with among these spend ups. That that's. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Can you, am I wrong? I mean, what, where, where no, early in the day, I have very little interest in this game and okay. it would be just, it'd be Giannis or Middleton and then pretty much not really looking to run it back. Um, maybe if Bradley and house are out for, you know, they could easily be in somebody else who we don't even know if could be out. Um, if Bradley's out, then Armani Brooks. Oh, that again. Right. Right. But I would, I'd be open to, even though he's a little pricier. But we'll see. We have to. That's the one we're going to have to wait on injuries for. But mostly, as of right now, I don't have a ton of interest in that game either. Yeah. So, so Golden State, Minnesota, for me, I, there's a lot. It's just a lot of interesting things going on here. Um, first, first of all, it's a, it's a zillion point total, close spread. I presume. I'm, I'm just, I'm just presuming both those things are accurate. Um, and you have both teams trying to win. You have Curry on one side. So here's my interest. First of all, on the Minnesota side, I, I, I like Cat a lot. Um, I, I, got, I think he could be lower owned than Jokic. Um, could be lower owned, but certainly be lower owned than Durant. But um, I, I, he's going to be probably lower owned, I think, than Giannis. I, I, I like Cat a lot in this spot. Um, I didn't really get to much else on Minnesota. Um, I was hoping to. But I just didn't. The Golden State side really interesting to me. So, so you have a couple of things. First of all, I think Curry's the best play on the slate. All right, that that's that's for openers. But 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 aside from that, you have what's going to rate as a very very strong value in Kent Bazemore. Um, then you have Draymond, who probably will, will could have a good game. But then I, I know you don't want to do it, but. Correct me if my information is inaccurate, but Andrew Wiggins played for Minnesota um, and he's going back to Minnesota and he ain't shot. Um, so I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if Wiggins can get away with that with Curry on the court, but um, uh, he's not a guy I like to play. And neither of us like to play all that often, but he's certainly going to be in my list. Let's put it that way. So this for me is, is, is probably my favorite game on the slate. Um, and that's where I'm um yeah um oh oozing excitement look at that <laughs> no, i just had other other things that was popping up oh okay, okay um yeah I, I uh i think russell is my favorite play here oh nice okay um but i do like cat as well um obviously i don't think well it's not the worst to play them together either because of the environment um Anthony Edwards is going to be unowned and still taking plenty of shots and actually putting up pretty big numbers. Uh, Just, I don't know if I'm going to get to him, but he's definitely an interesting middle tier play Uh, on the, I love, I love Curry. Um, I love the, I mean, it's hard not to to want to play Baysmore at 3,900. I think Michael Mulder is, makes a lot of sense too. Ooh, that's something. Um, He's He should get a ton of minutes tonight and he can shoot himself. Well, he did. He popped a bunch of shots up the other day. Yeah, yeah he didn't really shoot it. Um, 
So yeah, this whole game has it has some interest to me. I think it's a kind of game where even like like Draymond, you know, is 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 mildly interesting. I mean, like, but I I think mostly it's going to be Baysmore Curry um, for me with maybe a little bit of Mulder. I do think there's there's some upside for Pool here, but I I don't know that I'm going to end up using him. And not not Wiggins for you. Not so much Wiggins. Um, well. He's reasonable enough. Um, feels weird. I know it's be- going back to Minnesota, but it, like Draymond is 300 more. I know. I know. And Draymond has been much more consistently right in the, the range you want to be in. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, I, I mean, but I do think getting a little a little bit of action on both sides, and, I, and again, I would I would prioritize Russell, and then uh, Towns would be second, I guess, for me. Okay, you want to move on? Let's move on. Um, for me, uh, New Orleans OKC is kind of another ugly game, um, but there's value that you have to kind of look at. Um, uh, Willie Hernan Gomez, again, uh, um, as presuming Adams is out, is um, yeah, still looks like a good play to me. Uh, maybe even Adi is out. I mean, even he came off the bench and he came off the bench play 25 minutes. I'd, I'd take 25 minutes out of him too. Um, so I like him, um, on the OKC side. Oh, also, I mean, you can play Zion if you want. He's just not really, he's just not doing it for me today. He's just not making it into that top list. And Lonzo, you know, you know me coming off the ceiling game. I'm just not going to do it. Um, and again, the environment is just kind of, kind of shitty, you know, uh, OKC is just, is they're, 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 are they worse? They're worse than Detroit, right? They have to be. I mean, OKC is the worst i mean and they're both pretty bad so you want to take a shot again with the uh, you know poku poku cer- certainly makes some sense um and um ty jerome i'll try that i don't know uh th- those those are the two guys that, that i just kind of just poke my nose in this <laughs> is a uh, ty jerome and 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 Pukashevsky. Yeah, Jerome, Poku, uh, Kenrich Williams, uh, depends a little bit on the starting lineup. They have a lot of bodies healthy, so I I don't know. Then again, they always rule people out who aren't even on the injured list. So I, I'm i not terribly interested in the OKC side. Ty Jerome would probably be the, the most interest, with, followed by Baisley. And then on the New Orleans side, it would be – it was going to be Lonzo and, and Hernan Gomez if we have no uh, – uh, I don't think he would play 25 minutes. That, that was a weird game last night. Um, okay. I don't think you would play that normally, but um, I, I sort of am leaning a little bit towards, this is a really weird play, but Eric Bledsoe, um, he's actually been playing pretty decently. He's obviously gets the minutes, um, 4,500, he's put up 30 and 34 in his last two games. So maybe like a little bit of a weird piece of strange value that no one's really looking at. And I think that he's kind of interesting to me tonight. What, he also what plays well in games where they tend to blow people out. So we're we're gonna we're gonna add Stephen Adams to a very short list of of, of, of players that fit this mold. Well, I could not believe what I heard earlier this year. I thought that and, that Andre Drummond was like only twenty nine years old, right? Mm-hmm. I thought that Stephen Adams was like sixty. He, he's twenty seven years old. Stephen Adams, crazy man. Wow, basketball basketball is a rough sport, man. I mean, like, uh, especially if you're a big. I mean, it punishes you. Uh, yeah. Wow. And he was he came out of the game last night with his knee. I don't. I doubt he plays tonight. Yeah, I would be shocked if he played tonight too. Um, not shocked, but I'd be very. What's the point? I mean, like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is some Hernan. There is some you know Jackson Hayes. Wait, I'm losing you. Dad. There's some Jackson Hayes possibility that he gets some more run. Um, that's the only other thing that stops Hernan Gomez, in my opinion, from being one of the best values and uh, on the slate. But yeah, um, uh, ready to move on to the last. Yeah, game? I don't want. I don't. I, I don't think you, anybody should sleep on this last game. Actually, um, I kind of, I kind of like the Toronto guys a little bit. Uh, I, I, I kind of like the um, the three main guys. I presume they all play, obviously, uh, like Van Vliet, Lowry, and Siakam. Mm-hmm. And and my 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 concept, my idea is that is that if the game is going to stay close somehow, you're going to need like at least two of them to like have ceilings. Right? So, so I, I would play, I would play Jokic with those, with, with two of those guys. Um, and uh, I, I don't have no problem doing that. I think they're, they're all three of them look, look pretty decent. 
And uh, obviously, Jok- look, Jokic is always a good player. I, mean, I like I like Cat a little better today for all the reasons I mentioned. Um, but I, I have no problem playing Jokic with them with Toronto with those with two of those three Toronto guys. How do you feel about Compazzo? Someone else can play him. I don't know if we should be saying that so flippantly with him. There's a ceiling for this guy. I mean, he just put up 48 last night. Uh, I got you. No, no, I know. I, I hear you. Yeah. Um, so I, I actually am interested in Compazzo. At 4,600? Yeah. He just put up 48. What do I need? To I don't know. Uh, well, I'll X that out for a second. I mean, like. Uh, okay. No, no. Last night, so, that, so, so the games before that, he was 24 and 32. Okay. You know. Um, I, I, I just say he's All on right, let's go, We'll throw him in then, too. That's fine yeah, by me. There you go. You got the whole, the whole thing then. Um, I don't have to worry about any of these games early. Oh. I do. I do love Jokic. Um, I think that he crushes, but comparing him with the other guys, we just got news that Kyrie is out by the way, which we'll go back to the Brooklyn game. In oh, a minute. Well, I, would you, do you think Durant might be slightly popular? Yeah. Is Durant going to be like 150% owned <laughs> or just hundred percent owned? I don't even know. Um, so the one way you can maybe do something a little bit funny and different in this game uh, on the, on the Denver side is, maybe take a shot and just hope for the ceiling game for Michael Porter Jr. It's again, good environment for everybody, but uh, he's going to be the low owned, lower owned than Jokic and, and the other pieces and, you know, Composito obviously a different price. Uh, my, my highest interest is going to be Fred Van Vliet. And I don't want to play two of these guys. I don't think. And, but I would be, I, you know, what's weird is Jokic going to sit because I like sit. There's a three point. This game's a three point spread. How is that possible? Is that true? Yeah, I don't think that's true. I'm looking at it right now. Let me just double check. Hold on, because that's I, literally, I literally don't believe you. Okay, I'm looking at 111 to 108. You got to check yours. I'll check my other. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check a couple of things right now. Because that's really weird. Let me see something. If I mean that's the yeah, case. Now, yeah, 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 three. Yeah, I see 111, 108 as well. Wow. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> what am I missing here? We're gonna go to an actual sports book first. Hold on. Before I go to the implied totals, I'm gonna go to the actual sports. This is important because, like, that does. I mean, right? Like, you would think that that means. What the hell? Do, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it would mean it would mean like Jokic, MPJ, or Gordon, or two, or one, or somebody sits probably. Hang on. Let me just see something. Uh, so we're going to basketball. We have, uh, well, for, yeah, even the money line. What is this? Yeah. Minus 145. And, to, in all fairness, Toronto has played better overall, right? Like they, they're just, but still like in Denver, I don't know, man. It just feels. Yeah. Weird. I got, I have, I have, well, it's just a, here, just a, throw it in here. So I have minus four, minus three and a half. It's about three and a half. That's, that's, it's, that's I, I don't think it's very fishy. So just uh, hopefully we'll get news on that game if there is anything to have news on before, because I, I don't know. I, I something about that. And, and, if, and, if, and, and if you want to know what it means to be, to be in, in Sheets, Sheets Mine, if it turns out that, that, that all these guys are in for Denver and the line stays where it is, then Toronto's like a lot. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it's something weird though. Don't I mean, it is even, even if so, even if you would say that, like there's no way I would have ever guessed this is less than a seven point spread. Maybe I would have right. said that was easily said. Yeah. It could have been 10 easy. Um, well, who is out for Denver? So just Jamal Murray and Barton, right? Yeah. But like, uh, I'm just I'm just get, taking stock here. No, no, no. I know, I know. I'm I'm sort of thinking out loud, but like that's that's like been the case, and they've been winning. <laughs> what was this? Well, Who did they play last night? Uh, they played they played New Orleans. They won. Wonder what the spread was in that game. Um, well, New Orleans it was close. It was on the it was on the close side. Remember because we um because you commented on that when we were talking about the game environment. You were saying, oh, that's a pretty close spread too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, they won and it was close yesterday. I mean, I still think it's weird, though. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I think? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I said then. But now, but now what it means is that, which is good, is that I don't have to play two of the guys together. 
to make it work. In other words, I, my, my whole concept was, well, Denver's obviously like a 10 point favorite. So I'm going to need two of the guys in Toronto to get there for me to, for them to keep it close. But if it's only a three point spread for real, then I don't need two guys to, to, to ceiling to get there. And I can only play, and if I feel like it, I can just play Van Vliet, you know, or Siakam or whatever. But I, I but, but I, but I'm going to totally mooch off of your take and, and Van Vliet's your favorite. He'll be the guy that I use. I just think that he's got the the upside and and they tend to even give him even more minutes than Kyle Lowry, but I do like Lowry too. So I just prefer Van Fleet. That's one of going to be one or the other. Maybe if I need the 600, I can, or 700, I can. Oh, such a nice, by the way, it's such a, it's such a nice feel. I'm telling you when you have that night, that late game, it's just, for me, it is. It's a great feeling, but it's also nerve wracking. Cause if things go South, you can't make the switches. Like I made the mistake yesterday because there was two players at 3,400 that could have ended up starting. Actually, I don't even know. I think Terrence Davis ended up doing okay, but there was two players at 3,400, but I only had 3,300 because that's what Davis's price was. And I made the mistake of not, not finding a way to get the extra 100 on the table in case he was not starting and, and Yang was starting or something like that. That was what I was going to do, but I couldn't do it. Um, anyway, pretty irrelevant now, but I, we'll this, jump this, back. This, 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 is, this is what Sheets is doing, okay? Sheets is, and I hate people talk about themselves in the third person. Okay? But what I'm doing it, true, hashtag true DFS transparency. There will be three games that I will be targeting. There will be the Brooklyn Indiana game, which will be Chalk City USA on one side, and I just hope that maybe people don't play Brogdon. That'll be my my hope, I guess. Right. I'm going to play Brogdon with, uh, and if Goga, I don't know what to do about the rest of that, but maybe I will play Brissett. But I'm definitely going to going to do some Durant Brogdon, and then I'm going to be on top of the Golden State Minnesota game and the Toronto Denver game. Uh, I'll have multiple pieces on both sides of both of those games. And I'm just going to hope Dallas Detroit game is a yawner. I hope the uh, New Orleans OKC game is a yawner. And then probably most dangerous one is I, I, I just hope somehow that, that you get the combination of Giannis blowing them out and only getting 50 in doing so. That'll be my, <laughs> that's that parlor. Yeah. Um, that would, that's, that's the one that I, you got to be nervous about something. Like you can't be so confident that you have everything right. So I, that'll be the one I'm nervous about. Like to not, if, to not have the Christian Wood, Michael Porter Jr. Have great games and Giannis score 80. You know, that, that'll, that would, that's, that's the one that I may, maybe, you know what? It's the John DeMott theory. The John DeMott theory, for those of you who forgot, that's when he was like an old horse racing uh, buddy of mine. He would bet like a zillion different things. And then he would always say, okay, so you bet all this stuff in this race. What's going to come in? That's going to really make you pissed off. Think of what that is and then go bet that too. Okay. So, so maybe what I'll do is I'll put in, like you say, in the $4, I'll do one with the Milwaukee Houston, exactly what I just said, just in case that happens um, to kind of, that'll be my one, my one, my one hedge for 0.01% of my pockets. Right. Well, what I'm doing is I, I'll just read the guys who I stood out yeah. to me, uh, Hayes, Durant, Brissett, Bazemore, Russell, um, I don't even know who that name is, but I'm going to have to figure that one out. It starts with a C. Um, Compazzo. Compazzo. Uh, uh, no, it's not him, though, but it was somebody else. Ooh. Oh, um, Lowry or or Fred Van Vliet. Who else starts with a C? Um, let's see. Nobody. Oh, Curry. Curry. <laughs> pretty, pretty big one. Uh, pretty big C there. Um, all right, let's, let's 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 see if we got updated projections at all on Brooklyn because I do think that the other pieces now become definitely in play and and it's going to be harder to to just say no. Maybe you say no to Shamit, but but I think that you can play some of these other guys. It's going to be Bruce Brown again, right? And that's the or I mean, yeah, or Shamit or um, yeah, we don't have, I don't have updated projections yet, so we'll have to touch on that one later. But Shamit. Um, uh, they really don't have like a true like other one. Maybe Tyler Johnson, I guess. It's gonna, you know, you know, it's gonna be point. It's gonna be Durant. I mean, like, yeah, but he's not gonna play a million minutes, and he's, you know, there's they won't they won't have him out there running like that. I think that it would be some combination of Shamit and Tyler Johnson being the pseudo whatever point guard. Um, but yeah, we'll have to we'll touch on that one at six Eastern. Uh, you want to do Fanduel real quick? Yeah, let's talk about Fanduel. All right. Yeah. Uh, Fanduel for me at point guard was going to be uh, wait, where is this lobby? Was going to be Curry as my top, and then ooh, and then I had uh, paying down for Killian Hayes as the second point guard, 
And then the third one, who's kind of middling, who I said I didn't want to play off the ceiling, but I'm just being honest, what I got here is, is Lonzo. Yeah, that makes, I, I'm, I don't know what's going on with this projection thing. So I'm, I'm like, literally, it's not showing any point guards up for me. So um, I would say the same thing, though. I, I think Compazzo, uh, oh, Compazzo, yeah. Compazzo, Hayes, and, and, and Ball would be my guys. Uh, shooting guard, my favorite, especially in light of what you just said, kind of by a lot now, is Fred Van Vliet. Um, I don't know the prices, so I'm just, just going to tell me the prices here. I'm going to try and get my family. He is 7,800. Uh-huh. Uh, will you, can you see my screen, too? Yeah, I can see your screen. Oh, uh, is 7,800, and uh, so he's my favorite shooting guard by kind of a decent amount. And... The, one, the other one I'll take a shot at is, uh, as a, well, you're probably going to like Russell, so I'll, I'll steal that from you. And then I will reiterate the, the possibility of playing Wiggins. Yeah, and also, I mean, just I, I actually think Levert, uh, maybe I just missed him a little too quickly, but I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, okay. uh, small forward on you. Ke- uh, Kevin Durant. Yep. Um, and then uh, – I had some ugliness underneath that. I had um, Porter. Uh, oh, Kevin Porter Jr. Yeah, he's like a lot. Right. Yeah. So Kevin yeah. Porter Jr. What is he at right now? 56? Yeah. 50, 5,600. Crazy. Um, all right. Um, I agree with that. I think, again, I'll just mention the Michael Porter as a long shot play. Maybe. Ah, very good. So that's one possibility. All right. We're going to take out Wiggins and we're going to put in Russell. All right. So let's go to uh, power forward. Um, power forward, my, I think my favorite was Isaiah Stewart. Um, I'll put that in for now. Yeah. And then I had some grossness. I, I think my next one was maybe Puka, was, 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 was Puka Dookie. Was Poku? Yeah, is, I think is, so. You don't have anybody. Yeah, I think Poku's like at a, at a very reasonable price over there, obviously. He's four, oh, yeah, he's 4,400, sorry. Yeah, and then um, that's basically like Stewart, Stewart, Poku, and then I didn't see the other value. Again, I can't see my value play, so can you click on power forward for me? Um, <laughs> So, uh, well, there's always Giannis, obviously, but I'm just not going to play him today. Yeah, I, I get the fading Giannis. Um, I might end up getting some of it. The only other ones that, um, Juan Toscano Anderson that would be Toscano Anderson, I was going to say, would be the other one I would consider, and Jaden McDaniels, potentially. Although it's a it feels kind Jackson of, Hayes is 3,600. That's another one you could consider, too. Um, see how the starting lineup breaks out, shakes out before you do that. If he starts, I mean, he's someone you probably should play. Not should, no. Not necessarily? No, you're just trying to find a guy who's cheap. I mean, I would rather play Poku than him. Um, so center, uh, obviously, if you're not playing up for Jokic, and I think Towns is, is where you want to want to be yeah. if you're not playing for Jokic. But there's also uh, – I don't think there's, like, extreme value that I have right now. At least I had nothing. Point. except I had nothing. Moses Brown is a long shot, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything cheap that, I, that you can really get away with. So it's going to be pretty loaded at the top. Um, I think that I think that what's his name is going to show up as a value, but I, I just don't think you're going to need him for this game. Is um, Looney? Kevin Looney, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Like, let me see real quick about Looney. You like that? Maybe it might actually work depending on it. Just might differentiate your builds, you know. Um, and then there's Hernan Gomez if he starts at 4,900. Goga if he starts at 4,900. Yeah. Ooh, what about your idea? How, how about the how about Moses Brown at 4,900? I mean, I think it's interesting. Like, it's uh, – it, the minutes are really in flux. So it's hard to know what's happening. But I, I don't know. He only played 12 minutes in the last – it's hard to get around. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, Hernan Gomez maybe would make some sense. And then – who was the 3,800? Oh, Looney. Um, so, guess what I'm not going to be able to do? I'm not going to be able to – I think Looney is totally reasonable. Okay. I'm not going to be able to play Curry Dur- – no one's going to be able to play Curry, Durant, and Cap. And get away with it um yeah you could there'll be plenty of value <laughs> i mean not if you want to play the other guys <laughs> you can play the shooting guard play you pay down and there's plenty of places to pay down you just didn't choose to yeah play. i guess so oh yeah well first well first first things first Lonzo, first, you first, can... first there would be well first there would be hayes instead of instead of lonzo is what i was going to say and, and then there's tons of shooting. I mean, and, and you could play Ty Jerome. You could play. Um, well, you could play anybody here at shooting at, at shooting guard now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and then you could, if you're going to play Cat already, um, yeah, Cat and Russell are fine together, I guess. Um, I really wish I had some updated projections on the Brooklyn situation. I can't get my projections to upload for for, for anything. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's basically the, those are our plays. We'll be with you guys at six Eastern and hopefully have uh, more of a decisive feel for uh, the slate because we still, I, I'm sure, are not even close to knowing who's playing and who's not. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Um, no all right. Sheets, anything else, man, before we get out of here? No, we're good. Can I, can I vent? I, I, oh my guy, I, every, all these good golf, I, I have Keegan Bradley in 45% of my lineups, which is, is pretty good. He's in first place. Um, but unfortunately I've got a lot of Martin Laird and a lot of John Huh. So. And I got the, and what's his name? Spielman came in at plus one for the day, which is not inspiring. Not ideal. Um, no. But still can get there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Good luck to everybody out there. We will see you at six Eastern.